today's video is going to be about how we turn a bad thing into a good thing i'm gonna back yeah i mean you guys you guys do man this is bait this is bait all right i mean uh good luck we're gonna grab a sweeper and we're still gonna start on red okay you know what that's cool so when we're running a build like this i mean it's not the end of the world i don't feel like runes are as uh game changing as they used to be they're still important i think hail of blades is the best rune but we can definitely get away with a little bit of electrocute you know you know just change it up a bit and they're all squishy except gwen so this works out so we're actually going to be running a um a one shot but kind of on hitty build and the way that we do that is by using kraken right so kraken is actually quite good at oh this guy's gonna leash for me what a guy Kraken's actually quite good at bursting people down. Um, it's not only for the one-shot builds. One HP, but we got the double strike. Let's move this over. And we're going to do our clear here. But what's interesting is that since Kraken gives us 20% crit right off the bat, we can get a third item, Infinity Edge, after our second item. Where typically I'm going to be running myself, um, you know, an Ezent Reaper. It's like storming outside, guys. It's storming outside. Uh, where we typically run ourselves an Ezent Reaver as our second item and actually this way this is looking great we're gonna go ahead and pivot over for a gank here when you see ganks you go ganks i'm gonna sweep this is why we get this early sweeper so we can know how we have to approach oh man oh man that's kind of like a waste of time uh she has teleport so we're actually gonna wait just a second here I don't think I could do it. I'm gonna go down into the jungle here. Oh, oh. Oh, you don't want to waste too much time, guys. That's what kills you is wasting time like this. Alright, so we see Nocturne. He's level 3. I'm not. This guy's coming up here. He has some Pryo. Uh, this guy's quite low. I'm gonna int on this. I'm gonna int on this. All right, well, Jax is dead. We know Nocturne's probably pathing up this way. I don't know where Kiana is. I don't know why she possibly thought that was a good idea there. We're going to go him back here. We got the kill, and I think the wave is largely in Jax's favor. No. No. All right, so since Nocturne is over here, I'm going to go for this, even though my bot lane is fighting. But we just saw Nocturne back, and this is a good opportunity to go for the dragon here. I mean, it's... Okay, he got it. I just want to get this dragon. The ultimate dragon's really good, especially since I have ultimate hunter, too. That's something we want to deny these guys. They have good ultimates, right? Uh, Nocturne and uh, Gwen and Kiana, they all have really good ultimates. So not only is this, like, extra ult for us, it's also an ult denial for the enemy. So there we go. We went ahead, and we got this. Let's go ahead and uh, we're just going to deny this plant as well. You got to remember a lot of the things that you gain are things that you also deny the enemy. Um, yeah, so Silas said something about JG. He's probably screaming jungle diff right now. But the key, guys, is no matter how much jungle diff people scream, you ignore them. Isn't that right? Isn't that right, guys? Yeah, you know it. You know it. Yep, she has no ward, so she's a free kill. All right. Oh, an enemy knock. Enemy knock for nope goes to our team. I like it. So we got score 6-9. Nine. 7-9. Nine. Uh, what we're going to do here is we're going to force this rift. Keep an eye on Nocturne. He's kind of low. I don't think he can really uh, contest this. I mean, he might. That's why we're going to pull this in further here. So we pull it in further, obviously, so Nocturne doesn't see it when he randomly walks past here. Because he might go, like, towards top lane to kill Jax, right? And we don't want to risk that. Uh, we should already have our smite. We don't, but we should. Let's go ahead and finish this off. Secured. Grab the rift. Everything's going well. So you can see, even if we don't have, like, a super amount of priority on this map here, we do have our rift, our dragon. We're 12 CS down. No big deal. And we, we, we got some money in the bank. I do like money in the bank. I think this is the first time we killed these Krugs, honestly. And we're going to start make. Oh, Nocturne's over here. Hmm. All right, so this is where we put pressure on bot lane, assuming our gen doesn't die here. All 
All right. Free kill here. <laughs> it's so weird not having Hail of Blades. You see how slow that is? All right, so this is going to be a free first tower blood, which is just going to snowball us. Of course, I'm very active and happy to have this wave when I saw Nocturne near the top side. He's coming down here, but it's going to be too late. It's going to be way too late, Mr. Nocturne. So we got to stand near it for the proximity fat, uh, tower gold when we uh, finish it. You get the plates if you walk away, but that extra gold, that 200 gold right there that we just got, uh, we wouldn't have gotten that if we walked away from it. This is a terrible idea. Now, even if you go Hail of Blades, you can still run this build where we go crack in essence into Infinity Edge. Uh, this is my go-to burst build nowadays. I don't really build Dusk Blade as much anymore. Obviously, having that extra uh, invis in team fights is really nice, but getting that early Infinity Edge power spike is also very nice. Wait, what did Bart ult? Oh, that has to be top lane. By the way, you can hit those F keys on your keyboard to quickly go to your top lane to see if there's a Nocturne trail. Top is F2. Yourself is F1. Mid or jungle would be F3. So this is our mid laner. Uh, bottom would be F4, F5. A lot of people don't know that, you know? Okay, no action for me yet. Yeah, we just gotta keep getting these dragons. We got one tower, we got the rift, we got two dragons. All's well. Okay. That was my bad. I did not realize she was going to dash straight in. I mean, I wouldn't say that's entirely my bad, but... Uh-oh. Chug a pot. Just in case. Just in case. I forgot to chug that pot. Anyway, yeah, we got the double. Yeah, I shouldn't have flashed there. I, honestly, I didn't expect Samara to, like, go, like... Okay, you know what? I'm, I'm not... That's not going to be my bad. Not my bad. Lag... Just lag. Remember, guys, always blame lag. Even if you got 9 ping, it's always lag. Just say lag in chat. Everybody understands lag, you know? Let's go over here. Oh, that guy is dead. They're gonna push up a rift. As you can see, the burst still exists even with this build. Wish I had Hail of Blades, but I don't. Oh, he just took my Baron Plant. Unlucky, unlucky. Maybe we can push mid. Alright, let's push it down. We got three dragons. I would love to grab the next one. This is a really... Yeah, you see how, like, the difference between having Hail of Blades and not having Hail of Blades? Like, I didn't even get off that many. I didn't even proc the Electrocute there. Oh, maybe I did. Oh, Alpha might have proc'd it. I'm not gonna make it. I could have activated Hindlander, maybe. Nah, I wouldn't have made it. Oh, I didn't even get my ult off. Or my alpha, I mean. Man, she healing. Alright, alright. That's still a hit for me. Get the pickaxe into the infinity edge coming up real soon. Just gonna keep farming as much as we can. We need to finish this infinity edge. 1,225. It's a big deal. It's a big deal power spike, which is another reason why Kraken is so good. Because Kraken, if we get Kraken, it gives us the ability to burst people down. And it also gives us those Infinity Edge power spikes. I'm not sure if that was worth. Um, I don't know why Jax ran back in. I had that. <sighs> yeah, the problem with this build is you don't have the tenacity and the precision tree. You can see, if I had tenacity there, I would have killed them. 
Because I would have gotten Alpha back up. I do have stopwatch, my friends. We have a Zanyas on Silas. This guy lost his stopwatch. And he died for it. Oh, shoot. I can't see. Dang. Almost. That's a Baron, though. That is a Baron. Ugh, the stopwatch almost saved me and got us a Baron. Fair item, honestly. Goodness. Oh, I got the dragon. Oh, nice shot. Good. That went well. All right, we got it. All right, now my team can pick up Baron and we're all happy. Oh, no, they're going for the inhibitor push, which is also fine. That's fine, whatever. I'd prefer Baron, but they can do what they want to do. Oh man, dude, we killed them all and instead of grouping and getting Baron or pushing mid, they just split up and then and two of them just die and... Uh... I need vision? No vision? Thanks for the help, guys! Dang! That's what he'd rather die that way. Jesus. <laughs> all right, all right. Whatever, whatever floats your boat. All right, so next up is we still have time. So the thing is, is we want to have the Zanyas during a critical fight like the dragon. So in this case, I believe we would still have time to farm it if I went for like a Phantom Dancer route because I do want the extra attack speed. I do want it. And yeah, that was a nice secure kill on the Baron. Um, honestly, I think I honestly think the Zanyas would just be too critical to play in another team fight. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab the Zanyas, but hopefully my team can just end here. It is a Samira versus three people with Baron buff minions. Oh, my team can end. She just went in instead of waiting for Noct. They can end. They can end. Dude, they just keep going one at a time. See, guys, if these guys can, you know, basically hit master tier. Uh, hit the nexus. There you go. If they can basically hit it, you can basically hit it. But honestly, when it came down to that last item, guys, it was a toss-up between Zanyas and, like, a Phantom Dancer or something. Because I did want the extra attack speed, especially without Halo Blades. It just feels really bad. Halo Blades would have made a huge difference in that fight. Um, and the fights in general. But, you know, even if you're running something like Electro Q, it doesn't matter. You could just pivot to another build. The only rune that I think that you honestly can't make anything out of is Comet. Like, that rune just sucks for ye. Uh, you know, it's good on poke champs. Just sucks on ye. Um, I guess I'll honor Sai. I don't like any of them, but, you know, I'm going to honor because that's the kind of person I am. There's Mr. Zeras honor. There we go. Not too bad. That's what I like to see, my friends. That's what I like to see. Not, not bad. Not bad. And, you know, wow, we were actually losing pretty hard. Look at their gold differences in ours. We were actually behind and losing in that fight, but we managed to turn it around. And I attribute all of that to great objective taking. Obviously. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. <laughs> Let me know if you did. Uh, yeah.